Hi everyone! So today we will have our new lesson and our lesson is about the ratio and proportion. Let's watch this. We are now in week 8 ng ating second quarter, which is the ratio and proportion. So, what is ratio? A ratio, it deals with comparison of two items. So, ibig sabihin, dalawang magkaibang bagay. Example natin, boys to girls. So, magkaiba ang boys sa girl, di ba? Next is pencil to ball pen. We have two forms of writing ratio. Number one is the column form and number two is the fraction form. So example, if we are going to write the ratio in column form, 2, colon, 3. So yung colon, if we are going to read this, uh, we will read it by is 2. So meaning 2 is to 3. If we are going to write this in fraction form, kung ano yung unang na si binanggit, so, that will be your numerator. And the second one, it will become your denominator. So, 2 is to 3 in fraction form is equal be equivalent to 2 thirds. So, let us study the illustrations below. So, we have books and pupils. So, meaning there are 4 books for every 8 pupils. So, if we are going to write this in ratio, 4 is to Eight. Or in call fraction form, 4 over 8. Katulad ng fraction, fraction, we need to lowest term the ratio. How? Katulad din ng fraction by finding the GCF. Okay. GCF stands for Greatest Common Factors. So, pinag-aralan natin yan in fractions. So, balikan nyo na lang. Meron ako ditong instructional videos on how to find the GCF. And the GCF of 4 and 8 is 4. Kapag nakuha na natin ang GCF, we divide it both by numerator and the denominator. So, dapat walang remainder yan. 4 divided by 4 equals 1. 8 divided by 4 equals 2. Meaning, the lowest term of 4 is to 8 is equivalent to 1 is to 2. Or 1 half. So, let's have another given example of ratios na kailangan ilawas term. So, 3 is to 6. So, again, identify natin what is the GCF of 3 is to 6. So, the GCF is 3. So, meaning, ibot divisible by 3. So, isulat natin ng lowest term. Okay. So, let us divide. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So, 1 is to 2. Another example. 9 is to 27. So, the GCF is 9. Okay. But, divide natin. 9 divided by 9 equals 1. 27 divided by 9 equals 3. Next. What if ang given naman natin ay fraction? So, 72 over 8. So, ang GCF natin is 8. So, both divide it by 8. 72 divided by 8 equals 9. 8 divided by 8 equals 1. So, 9 over 1. So, express each ratio of the first quantity to the second one quantity and reduce it to its simplest form. So, example natin, 2 teachers to 46 pupils. So, ang ratio is 2 is to 46. So, let us find out what is the GCF. So, it is both divisible by 2. So, 2 divided by 2 equals 1. 46 divided by 2 equals 23. So, the lowest term is 23. Ito yung pinakasago. Number 2 example. 21 garbage cans to 14 classroom. So, ang ratio natin is 21 is to 14. Or, gawin natin fraction form. 21 over 14. So, the GCF is 7. So, both divide natin. 21 divided by 7 equals 3. 14 divided by 7 equals 2. So, the lowest term or ratio in simplest form is 3 is to 2. Sana nakukuha niyo po. 
How about the equivalent ratio? Actually, wala namang pinagkaibang equivalent ratio sa simplest form. So, paano natin makukuha? Malalaman na equivalent ang ratios. So, example natin. There are frogs and chickens. So, how many frogs? So, we have 8 frogs. And how many chickens? So, we have 10 chickens. So, kunin natin, di ba? Not in the uh, lowest term or simplest form. So, what is the simplest form of 8 is to 10? So, the GCF is 2. The, but divide natin sa 2. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Okay. So, that's it. 8 is to 10 is equivalent to 4 is to 5. Let us find out how can we know, how do we know na equivalent yan. Imo-multiply natin yung number sa loob and number outside. So, yung number sa loob, it is called means. And number outside, it is called extremes. Kapag minultiply natin yan, dapat same sila ng product. So, 10 times 4 equals 40. 8 times 5 equals 40. So, kung pareho yan, meaning, they are equivalent ratios. Ganun lang kasi yan. So, again, all uh, numbers that are in simplest form or ratio, it is also equivalent ratios. Tingnan lang natin, i-check natin kung paano. From the learn task 1, in your module, write equal sign in the circle if the given pair of ratios are equal. And not equal if it is not. So, number 1, so 64 is to 12 is equal to 8 is to 15. 80 is to 15. So, let us find out. Again, paano gagawin? We will multiply the means and the extremes. Okay. So, 12 times 80. Lagay natin dito. Multiply natin. 12 times 80. So, since 0 yan, so 0, 0. 8 times 2 equals 16. Carry 1. 8 times 1 equals 8 plus 1 equals 9. So, 0, 6, 9. So, 960. Then, multiply the extremes. So, 64 times 15. 5 times 4 equals 20. Carry 2. 5 times 6 equals 30. Plus 2 equals 32. 1 times 4 equals 4. 1 times 6 equals 6. Then, add. 0, 6, 9. So, same sila, 960. Anong sagot natin? So, the equal. Next. Given. 3, 7, uh, blank, 24 over 56. Kapag ganito, take note. Dahil naka-computer ako, ganyan ang ginawa akong fraction sign. Pero it's a no-no. So, ganito gawin niya. Ayusin niyo ng tama pagkakasula. So, kapag ganito naman, i-cross multiply natin. Dapat pareho ng sagot. So, so una, 3 times 56. Unahin ko yung 56, ah, para mas madali mag-multiply. 3 times 6 equals 18, kero 1. 3 times 5 equals 15 plus 1 equals 16. So, 168. Yan naman tayo sa 24 times 7. 7 times 4 equals 28, kero 2. 7 times 2 equals 14 plus 2 equals 16. So, same na 168 ang product. So, ano sa God? Edi, equal sign. Okay. Kung hindi sa tama, edi lang not equal. Pero dahil equal sila, edi equal pa rin po. <laughs> okay. So, let us look at the learning task 2 in, each, in your module. Fill each box with the correct number that will make equivalent ratios. So, in number 1, blank is to 7 equals 24 is to 56. So, what can you observe? May nawawalang isa. So, partner siya ng extremes. So, same procedure. Mumultiply natin means to means extremes. So, 7 times 24 is equivalent to. So, yung blank, lagyan natin ng n. 56 times n equals 56n. So, multiply natin 7 times 24. 7 times 24 is equivalent to 168 equals 56N. Para matira na lang yung N na nawawala, 
ay divide natin pareho sa 56. Para makansal ng 56. So, natira na lang yung n. So, ibig sabihin, di ba, ng fraction is also division. So, 168 divided by 56 is equivalent to 3. Okay. So, n is 3. Ayan. Tagalay na natin yan. So, 3 is to 7 is equivalent to 24 is to 56. So, meaning 7 times 24 equals 168. Then, 56 times 3 is equals to 168. Meaning, tama ang ating sagot na 3. Next, doon naman tayo. Mapapansin nyo naman, means ang nawawala. Same procedure, lagyan natin ng n yan. So, 3n, dahil yun ang means, 3 times n equals 3n, equivalent to 8 times 15. So, 3n equals, so, 8 times 15 is equivalent to 120. Again, para matira yung n, i-divide natin both by 3. Bakit sa 3? Para makansel. So, ang natira na lang ay n. 120 divided by 3 equals 40. So, ang sagot natin dito ay 40. Yan. So, 3 times, 1, 4, 3 times 40 equals 120. 8 times 15 equals 120. So, tama yung sagot natin na 40. Doon naman sa learning task 3 naman natin, you will solve the given problems. Number 1 lang ang gasagotan ko ha. Two numbers are in the ratio 2 is to 3. If the bigger number is 6, what is the smaller number? So, gawin natin to in a fra, uh, equation form. So, una daw ratio 2 is to 3. Equals, if the bigger number, eto ang maliit, ba? So, hinahanap what is the smaller number. So, yung partner niyan, smaller, the n is 2. 6. Ayan. So, then, find the n. Multiply the means, then multiply the extremes. So, 3n equals 6 times 2 or 2 times 6 equals 3n equals 12. Then, hanapin si n. So, i-divide natin both by 3. Bakit 3? Kasi parehas. Para makancel. Natira na lang yung n. 12 divided by 3 equals so, n is 4. So, 3, lagyan natin yung 4. O, 3 times 4 equals 12. 6 times 2 equals 12. So, tama ang sabot natin. Yung ginawa natin is para na rin. Yung ginawa natin kanina na 2 ratios. So, we can also say that it is proportion. So, what is proportion? When two ratios are equivalent, they represent proportion. Ayan, medyo magka, uh, magkapatid kasi sila. A proportion is true if and only if the ratios containing it are equivalent. So, pinag-aralan naman natin kanina yung equivalent. So, pwede rin maging equivalent kapag nakasimples form ang ratio. In each proportion, the outer terms A and D are called extremes. And the inner terms B and C are called means na kanina din nating pinag-aralan. So, let us explore and discover the answer to the given problem. Cassandra uses 3 kilos of sampalok to make 24 dozens of sampalok candy. What is the ratio of the number of sampalok candy to the number of sampalok used? So, ang ratio natin na masasabi is 3 is 24. So, hanapin natin ang proportion niyan. So, ang proportion niyan, of course, is the Simplest form, 3 to 24, is not in the simplest form. So, what is the simplest form of 3 is to 24? So, both, we can divide it by 3. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. It's 2. 24 divided by 3 is 8. So, 3 is to 24 equals 1 is to 8. So, proportion daw yan. How come? So, multiply natin ng means sa extremes. So, ito yung A, ito yung B, ito yung C. So, B is to C. Yan yung means. A is D equals extremes. So, 24 times 1 equals 24. 3 is times 8 equals 24. 
So, kapag pareho ang product, meaning they are proportion. Ganun kasimple. So, learning task 1 natin. Draw a heart if each given ratio shows. Ratio yan na. Tanggalin natin yun. <laughs> Proportion and draw a star if it is, if it does not. So, 3 is to 9 equals 9 is to 27. Again, multiply natin. Means to extreme, means and then extremes. 9 times 9 equals 81. 27 times 3 equals 81 also. So, what is the answer? Cir heart or star? So, of course, the answer is heart. Next, 7 is to 1 equals 7 is 5 is to 3. Tingnan natin, pwedeng gawin natin yung fraction form. Ayan. Pag fraction form, ang gagawin natin, eh, di cross multiply, imamultiply natin. Oh, 7 times 3, 21. About 5 times 1, 5. Are they equal? So, they are not equal. Meaning, our answer is star. Okay, ganun lang po. So, our lesson for today, for week 8, second quarter is came from, syempre, Pivot for a second quarter, pages 31 and 36. And also, the book, yung reference natin is 21st Century Matlitz 5, page 73. Thank you for watching. Thank you, my dear Road to 1000 subscribers. I am your teacher, Carmen. And don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel.